Update 4 on Tropical Depression, Sandiang, the Philippine name, international name Jiangmi. It's weakened slightly and is now a 35 mile per hour tropical depression after peaking yesterday with winds of 50 miles per hour. Its position right now is 10.1 degrees north, 120.3 degrees east. That's as of 2 p.m. UTC, December the 30th. That's uh, 10 p.m. local time. The storm's expected to make landfall on Palawan in the next few hours and then continue to towards the west-southwest into the South China Sea and then it will head towards Malaysia where it will likely uh, dissipate over the Malay Peninsula um, in around five days time so obviously we could see some more uh, repercussions from the storm there too um, with regards to the uh, downed plane that we had near Indonesia that's a bit too far south for this storm to affect that but I think it's worth noting uh, because it is in that general vicinity uh, signal 2 warnings in effect for uh, Grimeras, the small island off the uh, southern coast of Panay, southern Panay and Palawan of course. And signal 1 warnings remain in effect for uh, Negros Occidental and the rest of Panay as well. Uh, and obviously the storm center is located just off uh, Palawan now so the warnings further east of that will uh, probably be lifted uh, in, a, in a matter of hours. Uh, look, looking at the latest from the NDRRMC SITREP 5, there are 21 reported fatalities now with 17 injuries and 10 people missing. Uh, seven landslides reported so far, 13 houses damaged, $20,000 in agricultural damages and 14 flights cancelled along with uh, other stats as well. Uh, $20,000, 898000 Philippine pesos in damages there. Uh, so obviously not a good situation. Uh, the last SITWEP reported that only one fatality was reported, so that figure of 21 uh, could rise significantly yet. Um, we don't really know how much to, but obviously probably more than what we saw from Hagapit, Philippine name Ruby, that we had earlier this month. Uh, sea surface temperatures remain fairly warm at this time, around 28 or 29 degrees Celsius, dropping a little bit in the South China Sea between um, where it is right now and the Malay Peninsula, uh, so that could possibly limit its strengthening over that area. Okay, it is likely to strengthen once more. Uh, wind shear may also get in the way because there are high amounts of shear towards the west over the South China Sea, at least over the initial part. Uh, further towards the west, it's not looking too bad. And dry air has um, seems to have dissipated towards the northwest and is uh, in large amounts towards its east. Uh, but around the storm, nothing too serious. The latest satellite imagery shows the storm's pretty much lost its structure really. Uh, it's just a massive cloud from what you can see from this satellite imagery. Um, with some heavy rain falling over the island of Samar right now looking at that um, infrared imagery and over Palawan uh, we're seeing little bits here and there I think. Uh, you see a bit of a wave passing through in the past few hours and another flare up forming near the centre of the storm uh, which could also affect the island of Palawan. So heavy rain possible there which could also lead to more flooding. Wind speeds aren't going to be too significant I don't think 35 miles per hour is its sustained winds we could see gusts up to around perhaps 50 miles per hour maybe slightly more uh, but certainly not getting towards typhoon intensity. As of December the 30th at 2pm UTC, there is nothing going on in the Western Hemisphere, it's all in the East, where we have Cyclone Kate, which has surprisingly intensified to reach Category 3 status once again, uh, Invest 95B um, in the Indian Ocean, with a small chance of development, and Tropical Depression Jiangmi. Uh, 2014 is joint 21st in the uh, most active worldwide uh, year worldwide. Uh, 80 tropical storms, 80, 44 category 1 storms with winds of 74 miles per hour or higher, and 26 category 3 cyclones with winds of 115 miles per hour plus. Um, that's level with 1993 in all respects. You can visit Force 13 and any of its six outlets. The website force13.com is the main place to be for all the goings on around the world, storm wise. Uh, new features being added uh, over this uh, period as we enter the new year. Uh, video pages, search Force 13 on there for the latest videos. Um, there's always something going on there, as, as is the case for the uh, social platforms too Facebook and Twitter. Search Force 13 there at Force 13 on Twitter, and you can speak to me personally on Skype at Fool 13 for Tropical Weather Chat. 
The next storm update for uh, this storm will be at 2 a.m. UTC, December 31st. That's 10 a.m. in the Philippines. Uh, but until then, that's all for now.